you may not see anything wrong along these vines. Each Chardonnay grape feels and smells plump and healthy. And at the far end, on the left side, you can see the smoke coming out of the tubes. But the smoke Tom Collins and his team pump continuously into this hoop house will likely leave a bad taste in your glass once it's turned to wine. When, when you have these smoke-affected wines, it can result in wines that we just can't sell. Badly Collins spent decades in the market. business of winemaking before joining Washington State University. He learned firsthand about a problem costing West Coast winemakers millions. So is it impacting the grapes themselves or more so the vines? Uh, both. As the West Coast battles larger, more severe wildfires, wind transports thick, pungent smoke for miles. So we have definitely seen, not just here in Washington, but also in Oregon, California, British Columbia, you know, every year somewhere up and down the West Coast, there are vineyards that are affected by smoke. When smoke envelops vines, compounds called volatile phenols, which cause the smell, seep into leaves and grapes. The compounds climb into the grape skin cells and bind with sugars. So they're in the skin cells, and at that point, you really can't wash them off. It's already inside the berry. Collins and his team smoke half of these grapes around the clock and leave another set alone. They pick samples every few hours, then freeze them for a team in Pullman to study what genes are turned on by smoke and what happens when they're pressed for wine. They're also trying preventative sprays on the fruit to give growers an option when they know smoke is coming. We have shown that the materials we're applying could result in about a 50% reduction in the amount of smoke compounds that end up in the fruit. The USDA and state wine commissions have poured in more than $7 million to teams in Washington, California, and Oregon, all hoping to solve a growing issue with a sour bottom line. We're seeing losses of fruit, losses of wine related to smoke exposure events. Not widespread every year, but there'll be enough instances that it's worth studying to try and reduce the amount of losses to these smoke events. A problem made more pressing as late season wildfires bake the scent of smoke into recent memory, with more expected in the years to come. From Prosser, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.